Hey guys, welcome back. Just a really, really quick one. I just wanted to say thank you to everybody that subscribed recently. We're getting there slowly. I'm over 50,000 now. It's, it's growing, albeit slowly, but we're actually moving in the right direction. So that's amazing. So thank you to everybody that watches regularly and comments. I've got to say, without getting too tree hugger about it, you know, YouTube comments are, if you look at YouTube videos in general, YouTube comments are fairly horrible. But it seems that whenever you go to a motorbike channel, generally speaking, people are really respectful in the comments. There's a little bit of leg pulling, a little bit of piss taking, but there's nothing nasty. There's something about people that are interested in bikes. They're generally really sound people. It's kind of heartwarming. Let's not go on about it too much though. Um, yeah, if you, you could subscribe. So if you look at the ratio, I'm going to put some on the screen here, or at least I'm going to try in the edit. The, the ratio between the number of people that watch and are subscribed and watch and don't subscribe, if those non-subscribers could subscribe, that'd be, that would make a massive difference. Anyway, enough about that. The reason I wanted to do a bit to camera first is, I get a little bit sweary in this one, and I just wanted to warn you, if your kids are around, I know people, most people don't mind the bad language, but you know, this is real world workshop stuff. So if you're offended by a few F-bombs, then this channel's probably not for you, to be honest with you. You probably need to go elsewhere for your content. So I get a little bit, I think I was a little bit hangry when I was making this video. Um, so yeah, and it's a two-parter, so you'll get today's video, which is Friday, and then in a week's time, you'll get part two. I think that's the waffle done with. Thanks everybody, I really appreciate you all. See you soon. What do you think of that then? I'll tell you what, it's a long time since I've seen one this clean. It is, I mean, it's indistinguishable from brand new. How many miles has it got on here? I think just about 4,000 miles, but it's definitely never seen rain. Apparently it's been in a couple of collections. It's never really been used, maybe a, the odd sunny Sunday afternoon, but I mean, it's absolutely mint. Why is it here? Right, so the story goes, there's always a story. The owner is a subscriber on YouTube. I think probably watched the other VMAX videos we've done. He bought it, used it for a little while, put it away for the winter, got it out, wouldn't run properly. Starts on choke, but it doesn't want to idle. I'll show you in a minute, I'll run it. And I know what you're all thinking. You think, oh, it's the carbs, Jim. Well, here's the thing. Carbs have already been off twice. And he's very confident that the carbs are spotlessly clean. So I don't know, My, I agree with you. My spider senses would say, it's carburation, but uh, you know, these things like to uh, burn you. So I'm not going to be that cocky and say it's definitely carburation, given that the curbs have been off twice. Let's get it started. I'll put the camera on a tripod. Let's start it up. Let's show you how it actually behaves or rather doesn't behave. Okay, let's fire this thing up and I will show you what is going on. Full choke. It starts immediately on full choke. It sounds absolutely normal. Let's let it warm up a wee bit. So it behaves on choke exactly like you'd expect. Takes throttle about two and a half thousand RPM on full choke. Sounds normal. Start knocking the choke back a bit. Right, it chokes off. It's got a bit of heat in it. I mean, it is, it doesn't want to run at all. Like on any cylinder. It's not like it's got a blocked pilot jet and it's missing a cylinder. It literally won't run if the ch unless the choke's on. A 
last choke off with me giving it a tiny little bit of throttle. Something very wrong in there. You know, my spider senses are saying carburation, but how weird. I mean, it's just... It literally does not want to go at all. Okay, no point in, excuse me, no point in carrying on like that. I'm going after carburation. Given that the carbs have been off twice, I need to see what's already gone on. And it does appear to be carburation, doesn't it? Right, let's get it on the, on the bench, start taking it apart. Uh-oh, trapped breather pipes. Same on the other side. Is that a sign of things to come? Right, let's dig in. Okay, they were just literally just tucked under the panel. And in the guy's defense, he did say when he dropped it off, it wasn't really together properly. Some of the stuff was loose. So you can have a free pass. You can have a free pass for doing that. I think he's just smashed it together to bring it to me. That's my thinking. So problem number one I've spotted. Can you hear the difference? That diaphragm's been trapped. That diaphragm is not. Neither's that one. Feels normal. Feels normal. That doesn't, and that doesn't. Uh-oh, not a good start. Look how new it looks though. It's literally like it's just come off the assembly line. Quite excited to work on this one. It's already starting to unravel. Look at these nasty, there's no way in the world they're standard clips for holding these carbs on. It's got some nasty Jubilee clips. What, why? Because the original clips must have been in absolute mint condition. And I don't know whether you can see on in this shot, but this carburetor isn't all the way down into this manifold. Oh God. Okay. Here we are. Let's investigate the diaphragms first, see what's going on there. I've noticed something else that's triggering my OCD and there's no reason I can think it would need to be this way is the screws holding these diaphragm covers on they're not the right screws they're a posi drive um, head they should be JIS or Allen key I can't remember but they're definitely not the original screws which on a bike like this which is effectively new I don't know that seems weird to me uh, right I'm doing it now. I'm using the wrong fucking screwdriver because I've got a JIS and it should be a posi. I can't be asked to walk to the van to find a posi drive screwdriver. Definitely one in there somewhere, but not really a motorbike sort of a tool. Let's have a look what he's done with this diaphragm. Hoping he hasn't split it by squashing it. Yeah, it's sort of, yeah, you can see here, look, Whoa, get it in shot. It's been squashed. See there, hang on, let me get it out of the carb. In the light, you can see there where it's been pinched. It's in one piece still, though. Great camera work, Jim, well done. Okay. No sign of varnish on the needle. That's always a good sign. I wonder if they've just been... I don't know whether that's maybe going to need a new diaphragm. It's not split it. Just been out of shape for a while. 
Okay, carry on the strippage. Why am I taking these apart? Not in a fucking stainless steel tray. Silly boy. Fucking hell, no need for that. Where's me little spiky fucking tool got to? Are you having a fucking giraffe? Where is it? Ah, <sighs> I tell you what, I fucking I'm really good at losing stuff. And I, oh, there it is. And I'm fucking super OCD tidy, and I still manage to lose everything. Can't see a bloody thing. Where's my torch? Oh, Jim, for God's sake. Do you ever fart and blame me kids? I do it all the time. They think it's hysterical. Such a child. Um. Oh God. Oh, I hate that so much. You know I hate that. It's not even in shot, Jim. Look at this. Can you see that? Absolutely fucking mullered the head of that screw. Just get a fucking JIS screwdriver. Sorry, Mr. Owner, you're probably watching this thinking, oh God. Don't worry, I'm not going to name you. But fuck, that annoys me. It's just no need. It's like you've tried to get it out of your teeth. They'll be having new screws, as will the um, jobby, what's it, the diaphragm covers, same on this side too, the diaphragm covers. At least they're tight. Let's be grateful for small mercies. There's a throttle linkage, isn't there? I have none done yet as well. Uh, another sir clip. Well, now you know you fucking want to. There we go. Shouldn't there be a little washer on there as well? missing in action somewhere. Okay. Let me get you a slightly better shot for the big reveal. Oh god, he's used the same fucking screws in the float balls. Fucking posi drive screws. God, that's annoying. Calm down. Let's get you a better shot. Oh god, I'm gonna have to get a posi drive screwdriver on a motorbike for God's sake. So when you take them out, you find that they're fucking wood screws. <laughs> Wouldn't be the fucking first time. Just wondering if there's any oh god, did I knock the camera then? I wonder if there's any you know evidence of varnish contamination because you know we're thinking maybe carburation, but I know I found a, th a few things that needed addressing, like the diaphragm trapped, but that trapped diaphragm is not going to stop it from ticking over. Let's have a look in here. Clean as a whistle, it would seem. Interesting. Okay, I was expecting maybe some evidence of a, hmm, of a, you know, a tide mark of green schmoo. Right, let's get them all apart.
Okay. Whatever it is that's wrong, it's, you know, it's not just affecting one cylinder. It's, I mean, it literally wouldn't take any throttle. Those screws can go straight in the bin. It is my duty to put this thing back as original as humanly possible, given the condition of the rest of it. Okay. Uh, help me get this pipe off here. Squeaky as well, that squeaky clean. So it's the same story on all four of them in terms of just looking initially looking in the float bowl. Okay, they're not the original float needle valves because they haven't got how to explain the little wire clip on them is different. The Yamaha one is just a hook. The aftermarket valves have a thing going all the way over the top. Am I making any sense? But it wasn't, you know, it wasn't pissing fuel out on the floor, was it? So, although maybe I'm talking shit because they look completely original. Stop talking, Jim. To be honest, this is, so this will be a this is like a 2004, 2005, so one of the very last 1200s. I don't think I've ever worked on one this new. I've worked on lots of them. I don't think they've ever been this new, so who knows what the little changes might be. Uh, okay, right, jet holders. I think I might be creating a continuity error here. My, I, it's it's an hour or so later. I got pulled away to do something else. So, jet holders. I'm slightly nervous to um <laughs> to take these out. Well, let's hope it's all okay. There are fucking apprentice marks all over these jet holder screws as well. Oh god, it's so annoying. Buy JIS screwdrivers. Tell you what, I'm replacing all the screws. There's no way it's going back with those like that. I don't really know what I'm going to find. I mean, it really didn't want to run at all, did it? Which is kind of bizarre. I mean, potentially a massive vacuum leak from the inlet manifolds, and you can understand why it might be reluctant to rev because two of the diaphragms were not seated correctly, but it literally wouldn't run at all off choke, wouldn't take any throttle. I don't know. There's not really much you can... Huh, saying there's not really much you can get wrong, there's plenty you can get wrong, as we've already seen, but... You know what I mean? It's not, um... Okay... The gasket's in position... Both the rubber bungs are there... I wonder if that pile of jets been out. It's 
get a screwdriver showing off now I've got the proper tool which fits perfectly in there look perfectly into the jet now this jet doesn't look mullered in any way so I don't know it suggests maybe that it hasn't been out absolutely Locked fucking solid. Surely not. Uh, where's my little spiker? Uh, maybe not. Okay. Wishful thinking, I think that's what you call that, isn't it? Let's have a look at this. Emulsion tube. Have a sense of how clean they are. Well, they look a little bit varnishy, but they don't look too bad. Let's get the others out. Use a screwdriver instead of a ratchet. The way it was behaving was like the pilot jets were block solid, all of them. I can see a chink of light through there. Yeah. Of course the blockage doesn't necessarily need to be in this jet holder, it could be in the body of the carburetor quite easily, you know, in part of the idle circuit. My feeling, sorry I knocked the camera then. My feeling is I think we're probably going to end up Unless we find something really obvious, I think it might just be a case of cleaning these and putting them back together and then assessing. Yeah, that's definitely not blocked up, pilot. I took some of these carbs apart a few months ago for somebody who was doing them for, and <laughs> there were no pilot jets in the jet holders. So that might make it run shit. Oh, I've got new gaskets for these, although they look quite good. I do so many of these VMAX carbs now, I keep the bits in stock for them. Okay, should be little O rings. And there are still so look at those emulsion tubes. Oh, there's the washer look for the choke. No, that's the throttle one that was missing. Well, there's no sign of varnish on these. At all. Okay. So what I did want to check is I wanted to see, and I should have done it when it was together. But I wanted to see how far out the mixture screws were. Let's have a gander. Two and a smidge, two and a smidge, and two and a smidge, right, okay. I'm going to take these screws all the way out, springs, washers, 
O-rings, etc. It's getting quite late in the day now. I'm going to soak all these parts in carb juice. Sleep on it. And then... Yeah, let's have a rethink in the morning. Let's just check one of these idle air cutoff diaphragms. They haven't been butchered, those screws. Maybe these haven't been out. So brand new in there. Fair dues. Fucking hell, you know whatever's wrong with these carbs. I don't think it's varnish contamination that's doing it. Fucking hell. It's a mystery. Okay. I'll finish these, I'll soak them in some juice, and I will see you. Well, for you, it'll be instant, but for me, it'll be probably a day. Right, I'll catch you soon. Life changing. Anyway, enough about that, because everybody, when I watch YouTube videos and they ask you to subscribe, it's fucking annoying, so let's not go there. Can't swear in the first fucking four minutes, Jim. For fuck's sake! Ah, fuck the algorithm. I'm going to swear. No, I'm not. Uh, no, I'm not, am I? I'm not. Oh, fucking hell. Okay, just try again.